Hey, musicians and bands, have you ever wondered how important is continuity on stage? Let me show you how important continuity is to marketing and your performance. Let's make a right left here. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Well, hello, I'm Thomas J. Belez, and if this is your first time to my channel, when you want to learn how to succeed in entertainment, well, follow along on my traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer, and subscribe to the channel by clicking the notification bell so you don't miss out. When I see bands dressed all differently, it makes me wonder, are they just starting out? What is going on with that band's look? Have you ever gone to a show and the lead singer is decked out in leather pants and spiked braces? Oh yeah, no, no, that looks cool. Meta! But then you notice the guitarist is wearing torn up blue jeans and a Metallica shirt. And even better, the other guitarist is wearing all black and has paint on their face. And sadly, you see the bass player wearing khakis and a button down shirt from earlier that day at work and they're wearing glasses still on stage. And of course, you know, the drummer's probably not wearing a shirt and Shorts. It's a drama. Okay. My point is, what are we even looking at? There's no continuity. Continuity is a part of your marketing. It, at the smallest foundation of who you are, represents the band's brand. And if people have never seen you before, an audience is only going to be able to connect to you through the band and the stage performance. Go ahead. Look up the bands that you like and you know are very successful at what they do and this is what they do and see what they wear and how they perform on stage. Look at their stage presence and look at what they're doing together as a unit and what they're wearing. They have continuity. Now, continuity does not mean go all guarish and even though that would be pretty cool. <laughs> Balzac. <laughs> That's not what I mean. Because even Metallica keeps it very simple. They all basically wear some form of black, either it be a button down shirt, one guy has black shirt on, but they all have black jeans. Sometimes they'll wear blue jeans, but they have black sneakers. They look like your basic garage band kind of personality. They're just guys up there having fun killing it, but they keep to the same motif. Look at them in stage performance gear. So what kind of band do you wanna be? And you know what? Whatever you want to be, you have to figure out and work on it. But you have to all agree on it. And can you change your look? Yes, of course you can change it. But everybody should change it together. Because you have to remember, you're a product. You know, if you like it or not, your band is a brand. Thus, you're a business. The best way to figure out how to look, especially if you haven't figured out a motif as a cohesive unit yet. The best starting rule is the front person sets the tone because they are the tip of your stage triangle. Very simple. You just ask the front person what they want to wear and then you work from there, throwing in suggestions and taking out suggestions. It's very simple. This is how a band works. Have conversations. I mean, if they're going to dress up all heavy metal with leather pants and spiked gauntlets, META! Then you have to follow suit because how you dress can confuse and or take the audience out of the experience or it can pull them in and let them become a part of the mood set by your attire. Thank you for watching this video and supporting these traveling adventures of a resilient entertainer. Please like, comment, and share this video along with subscribing for future content. Have questions? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't work too hard, but be productive. And remember, look at people around you so you can work together, grow together, and rise together. Do you have what it takes to make a right, left, here? Do you, punk? Do you? I think you do. Oh, dear.